This is Toyota's radical new city car. It's not big, but it is clever, and rather suitably, it's called the IQ. Apparently, IQ actually stands for individuality, innovation, intelligence, and quality. Well, surely it should be the I, 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 Q then. The point that Toyota are trying to make with this car is that it's small on the outside, but big on the inside. And to help me demonstrate that, I've got the London Paws with me. They look quite comfortable. How about getting a couple of fans in there as well? Yeah. Okay, so just in case you missed it, that was two fans, three basketball players and their coach. Inside this IQ, it's actually 100 millimetres longer than it is in a Yaris. Even though it's smaller on the outside, it's definitely a bit of a TARDIS in here. And they've achieved that with a newly designed diff so that the wheels are at the far corner of the car, meaning you can sit further forwards in the car. Also, the heating system has been greatly reduced in size, so that means you've got more of a footwell for the passenger's legs to go. The fuel tank has been made flat so the seats can sit lower. It's all very clever little design cues, and it all means that it's much bigger in here than you'd think from the outside. The funky IQ goes on sale in early 2009, priced for around 10 grand. Oh, and it's only a four-seater, just so you know.